What about THC and CBD for spinal cord injuries and their spasticity? An injury to the spinal cord disrupts a normal feedback loop that controls muscle movement. The nerves below the injury can still receive messages from the body, but the brain can't properly regulate their responses. This leads to symptoms of spasticity, which can include muscle stiffness, involuntary spasms, clonus, which is a rapid rhythmic muscle contraction, and intense pain. In this study, Spanish researchers in Catalonia recruited adult spinal cord injury patients with moderate to severe spasticity that were resistant to conventional treatments. Then they followed them for two months after initiating treatments with nabiximols, which is a spray that contains a one-to-one -one formulation of THC to CBD. They found that after just one month of these cannabinoids, there was an average 30% decrease in spasticity, and two-thirds of the patients reported a global impression of improvement. The researchers concluded, and I quote, Nabiximols may effectively reduce spasticity in individuals with spinal cord injuries resistant to conventional therapies. Given the significant impact of spasticity associated with spinal cord injuries, it could be considered a viable add-on therapy for this population. End quote. For more studies, see the Neuropathic Pain page of cvresearch.info.